Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys kind of like some differences in GoodNotes 4 versus GoodNotes 5. So I'm currently still using GoodNotes 4. I downloaded GoodNotes 5 and I'm not loving it yet. There's still quite some kinks in it that need to be like ironed out before I start using it because it is also running a little slower in general and I know it's not just for me and my planner, it's a whole bunch of people because I watched other people's like videos of people trying to use GoodNotes 5. I wanted to do this video as a comparison of like what you can and can't do in GoodNotes 5, like the differences and what allows you to do in GoodNotes 4 and then what you could do in GoodNotes 5. Instead of just kind of telling you and showing you in GoodNotes 5, I wanted to compare and do a comparison video for you guys. So I'm going to be switching back and forth between GoodNotes 4 and GoodNotes 5. So this is currently GoodNotes 4. GoodNotes 4 has like this toolbar at the top with five icons in the middle four icons on the left hand side and then this um, three little dots on the right hand side. So that's GoodNotes 4 uh, just to show you guys and then GoodNotes 5 looks like this. This is a toolbar for GoodNotes 5. There's four icons at the top here. You have now the um, tool to like navigate through tabs is on this side and then you have like a whole bunch of other stuff in the middle here. So you have a photo, a pen tool, eraser, highlighter, um, you have like that shape tool, you have the lasso tool, images, oh sorry, I thought the first one was images. No, sorry, the first one was a zoom. This one is images, you have a camera so you can take photos directly from the app and then put them in here. You have a text box, you have some, most, uh, some of your most used colors and most used sizes for your um, pen or highlighting tool that you kind of just could put here. Um, the difference here is that all those tools here are now in the toolbar. Before in GoodNotes 4, you had them when you click onto the pen tool. So now I could choose my sizes and I have my most used pens and colors that I had put there. Same thing for the highlighting tool, you have to click on it first, which is a little different from GoodNotes 5, obviously where you just have them right at, at the top in the toolbar here, they're right here, so you could just select. Um, same thing with the highlighting tool, I could just select in my favorite sizes. Another thing that's different is that here it goes from, in GoodNotes 5, it goes from pen to eraser to highlight, whereas in GoodNotes 4, it goes from pen to highlight to eraser. So that was just a little confusing sometimes if you wanted to quickly erase and it's not right next to the pen tool and accidentally sometimes you'd click on the highlight tool or maybe that didn't happen to you guys, maybe it was just me. But that's another difference. This um, navigation tool is different because here you just click on it and then you just navigate through the pages and the tabs and the hyperlink tabs. It's in the middle on the right hand side. Whereas GoodNotes 5, it's now up here. It looks the same, but it's up here. And once you click on it, it kind of makes it full screen. So it takes away that whole entire toolbar and you have to unclick it for that toolbar to come back for you to do anything else. So I kind of like that feature better in GoodNotes 4. I kind of just liked seeing it like, hey, I'm just gonna navigate through this to this and nothing like changed. Um, so I kind of just like that better there. Um, some other differences in the pen tool. So in the pen tool here, if I click on the settings, I have two pen styles. I have either the fountain pen or the ball pen. So the ball pen is what allows me to just write um, no matter how much pressure I put on it. And then the um, fountain pen kind of allows, um, it kind of like takes the pressure. So if you press down harder, it'll make a thicker line and you press down lighter, it makes a thinner line. So this is the fountain pen right here. And then this was the ball pen. I do like kind of um, the writing of the fountain pen better only because I think it makes your lines more neater. Like it has a curvy feature um, that just makes it neater and the ball pen doesn't have that. And now in GoodNotes 5, let me show you guys because GoodNotes 5 has a new option for a pen. So I could go onto it without going to settings. I have all my options here. So I have fountain pen. So let's write hello again on my fountain pen. Okay, I guess we're writing in blue here. Okay, that's my fountain pen. 
my ball pen no matter how hard I'm pressing it writes the same and then now you have a brush pen so let's try with this whoa okay that is when the presser <laughs> the harder you press even thicker the line is so let me do that again and not press so hard so this one's cool because like you could just like it's more like calligraphy like do you guys see it's more like calligraphy based whereas the fountain pen yeah when you press down harder but uh, you know what actually you could pretty much do the same thing it's just with the brush pen the harder you press like the much thicker it is this is the hardest the um, fountain pen went this is the brush pen so big difference there then you have the eraser now with the eraser in good notes 5 you can choose to just delete the entire stroke a part of it or uh, just the highlighter only so let me also just do a quick highlight so I can show you guys quick highlight over that blue so let's go back to the eraser tool I can choose entire stroke so let me turn off that. I'm going to click on here and it'll erase that whole thing that I did in like one kind of motion. You could do erase um, erase highlight only so I could go over this and it'll... Okay, that didn't even erase it. Hello? Okay, that took a few tries. Let me show you guys that again. Okay, you have to go across the whole entire thing. I guess if I do entire stroke and highlighter only... Maybe that'll be, okay, so now now it's just the whole entire thing. If I probably could just click on it. Yeah, there you go. So I have to do entire stroke highlighter only if I want the whole entire one motion highlight thing. But I do like that feature of highlight only because GoodNotes 4 does not have that feature. I will show you guys. Let me just make my line thicker. So here's my highlight. And to erase, you have the options um, options are erase entire stroke so I can do that where I could just click on that and now it's entire stroke as long as it's like hanging off the edge where I could erase the highlight tool because if I click on my pen obviously it's going to erase the pen plus the highlight you can't just do highlight only unless it just sticks out a little bit so you guys see how it's sticking out here I could click on just that and it'll erase my highlight um, but there is no option for just erase highlight only um, so you could, and, but you do have the option of erase entire stroke or just individual pieces like that. In the lasso tool, you have options for handwriting images and text boxes in GoodNotes 4. In GoodNotes 5, you have the lasso tool, like this is, this is what happens. It's kind of just like takes its time to like reload here and there when you go back on the page. Um, you have options for hand, handwriting images, text, text boxes, the same entire thing. So let's highlight this. For example, when you click on it, you resize, color, convert, cut, copy, delete, and it is the same in GoodNotes 4. So take screenshot, resize, color, convert, cut, copy, delete. Same order, same everything for that. Another difference here is um, the shape tool. So now, before, with shapes, I could make a shape if I have the shape tool selected, which is up here. It looks like the triangle, circle, and um, square. So I can make a shape and it just, oops, I didn't have my shape tool selected. That's my great um, square. So I can make a shape and it makes my straighter lines. If I have the highlight tool on, it also does that. And I could also just make straight lines as well. In GoodNotes 5, okay, so this is, this is the difference. Hold on. So in GoodNotes 5, you don't have the option to use a highlighting tool for your shape. It's only now um, pen, whichever pen you choose. And that's not even working. Why is this not working? Oh, so you have to hold down. You can't just... Okay, now that's working. Okay, so a little different, <laughs> but you cannot use the highlighting tool now because you have to just be selected on the shapes, whereas before in GoodNotes 4, you were selecting the highlight tool or the pen, and then also in addition to that, the shapes. Now you're just selecting the shape tool and your pen option. 
What is cool though is that you can fill the color now. So I'm going to show you guys how I can make a square and it's going to fill the color like with a lighter blue. Let's also do one in red for you guys. Do you guys see that? There's no option to do that in GoodNotes 4, which wasn't a big deal for me anyway. <laughs> that just, you know, wasn't anything. So when you click on this, it's just the um, tool. You can't um, fill it in or anything like that. Another difference here, if you want to add a text box into your um, whatever you're doing, you click on this icon here and it automatically comes up with some of your most recent um, photos in your camera roll. Like this comes up here on the top little right hand side that you could scroll through and be like, hey, I actually want this image into my planner now. So let me find one that I could put in. I took a lot of photos recently. So here's my new weight tracker. I could just put that in here and I could resize it, and which another difference by the way guys, now you could resize just top, which is one of the main differences, which is which is why I want to start using GoodNotes um, 5. You could resize just the top or just the right hand side, which is so great guys. I love that option. Okay, so let me just like put that there just for now. I'm going to go back and delete all this in a little bit. In GoodNotes 5, if you want to add an image, you have to first click on this plus sign, then image, then from photos, okay, and then you click on camera roll, then you find your photo. So my photo is hanging out here somewhere. Here we go. Let's use the same one. And I want to resize it. So I hate that it doesn't resize just like the corner that you're dragging kind of resizes the whole thing. But even though you have all these little dots up here, you cannot just click on the middle one and expect to resize um, just that part of that. It literally resizes the whole entire thing as you guys just saw, but it lagged a little. So you guys see this? This is for just me trying to resize the right hand side. This is me trying to resize just the top, but it resizes literally the whole entire thing. So that's one thing I wish they would do an update on in GoodNotes 4, and I kinda just wish they would do an update on the app itself and not have you download a whole new app. Like, I just want these updates to roll out in the same app that I'm using, you know? I don't, but whatever, okay, so that's that. Um, you also have the zoom option feature so I could zoom on this and now I could like write something and like see my zoom. Oops, I still have the shape tool selected. Hello. Um, you have that same option in GoodNotes 5. So you have the zoom tool up front here. I could click on anything and then just write hello. I'm still on my brush pen apparently too, but um, now it kind of just puts it in there. So there's that um, thing in GoodNotes 5 and same thing in GoodNotes 4. Another difference is the text boxes. So here text box, you have to click the same way that you add an image in GoodNotes 4. So you click the plus sign, add text box. When you add a text box here in GoodNotes 4, the text box goes across the whole entire thing. I don't know, you guys, it's probably hard to tell. It might be easier to tell right here. So this text box goes across the whole entire thing. And then you could like type stuff um, inside here. Why is that not, there we go. Okay, you could type stuff, but you have to resize the text box. Otherwise, like later on when you're clicking on it, it becomes kind of hard because you could click somewhere else trying to look for a different text box and you might click on something else because if that's if you don't resize this. In GoodNotes 5, when you add a text box, you now have that feature up here. You just click the text box and then you click and then you just, okay, where's, where did I go? You just type away in your text box and it kind of makes the text box bigger as you are typing. It doesn't like start off super big, which is also a nice difference. And then if you want to make it smaller, you could get it on two lines and whatever. But I do like that new feature as well in GoodNotes 5. Sorry guys, I'm jumping around here, but <laughs> I just try to like cover everything. So to erase also, when you have the eraser tool selected, these will pop up and these are your eraser tool sizes. 
So that one was like a big one. You guys see it's like a big circle. This is a smaller one and then the smallest size. Whereas in GoodNotes 5, you would just click on the eraser tool and then select your size. So I have the big one. I also have the medium sized one. And then I have the small sized one. So it's just that's just another difference in GoodNotes 4 to 5. You have to click on the eraser whereas here you ha you click on it once and then all the options pop up here for your text box you now have the option to like click on this and then click on like this paintbrush thing you can have like a bigger point so let's say i want to click a text box okay my app just crashed okay that's what happens in goodnotes 5 sometimes <laughs> and now it's gonna reload this is why i don't like goodnotes 5 guys and this is why i'm still using goodnotes 4 until they update all of these things here so I what I did was click on the text box um, and go here and I'm changing like the font size so now if I click here my font is gonna be much bigger and I don't know if you guys could see I like when you click on a text box it writes underneath the text so you have to like move up the screen but all your sizings are here now so as soon as you click on the text box you have your sizes whereas in GoodNotes 4 when you click add a text box you go add a text box again here with this thing I have to resize it make it smaller but here you change your options here just like that or you could use this up and down feature if you want it bigger or smaller and you would just click on that and then type so there's just some you know some 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 little differences some bigger differences um, to me I'm still using GoodNotes 4 and that's what I'm going to continue to use until Everything is fixed in GoodNotes 5 and it's working as smoothly as GoodNotes 4. But for the time being, I'm sticking with this, not switching over just yet. And there's, you know, not much new things that I would want in GoodNotes uh, 5, except for the resizing. Like, I love being able to resize just the top or just the bottom. Like, I think that's super important. Um, and I wish I had that in here, but, you know, it's just not a feature that you have in GoodNotes 4. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me showing you guys how to use GoodNotes 4 versus GoodNotes 5. I could have just done it like this where I'm like literally just showing you guys the whole entire thing but I thought that this might be too small of a screen to show you guys on so I didn't choose to do it that way but I could have easily like showed you guys on both screens like hey here is my weight new weight tracker that I put in my shop and like showing you guys side by side but you just can't, I feel like you can't see like the full entire thing at the top and you, you know, like now my shape tool here, half size is over here instead of on the left hand side. So it looks a little different when it's split screen, but I did just want to like show you guys like GoodNotes 4 versus, you know, GoodNotes 5. So I hope you guys found this video useful in case you guys are deciding to download GoodNotes 5, which by the way, if you have GoodNotes 4, you can download GoodNotes 5. I believe it's at a discount or it might be free. Um, it kind of just says that bundle price. I think it's if you paid full price for GoodNotes 4, you get GoodNotes 5 free. You could download it, so I downloaded it now um, because I feel like later maybe they'll start charging. I'm not entirely sure, but I downloaded it. I have it, and then when all these other updates and when it's a little better, maybe I'll start using it, but for now, I am still using GoodNotes 4. I think it just works smoother, and I like it better, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you guys have any other questions on GoodNotes 4 versus GoodNotes 5. And I'll try and get back to you guys in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. So I hope this helps you make your decision on which app to use, whether it's GoodNotes 4 or GoodNotes 5. And I will see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.